today we are going to start with the new concept in analog and digital communication which is called as noise whenever we see the block diagram of communication system at left hand side there is a transmitter at the right hand side there is a receiver between them there are so many blocks but the important block which is called as noise now why it is required to study noise noise is one of the two principal limiting factors in the performance of communication systems in short we can call it as disturbance it electrical noise is any undesired voltages or currents that end up appearing at the receiver output an example is static that is commonly encountered on broadcast am radio in short noise is called as electrical disturbance in short it is a electrical distance disturbance and that will change the output of the system or the performance of the system it will change the performance of the system noise is classified into two types one is called as internal noise second is called as external noise the name itself tells you the meaning internal means it is inside the circuitry inside our system and external means it is outside the system internal noise has different types one is thermal noise thermal is also called as a johnson noise johnson is the name of the scientist who discovered this noise that's why it is called as thermal noise second is called as a short noise and third is called as flicker noise external noise means it is outside the system the, main, the important or main types are man made noise space noise and atmospheric noise one by one we are now going to discuss this before starting with the classification we discuss what is the definition what are the different sources of noise and based on these we have some noise calculations this is the technical definition of noise electrical noise may be said to be the the introduction of any unwanted energy which tend to interfere with the proper reception and reproduction of transmitted signals this is the technical definition of noise different sources of noise are external atmospheric industrial extraterrestrial solar noise cosmic noise and internal noise the first six are related with the external noise and last one which is inside the system is called as internal noise external noise the first type is industrial noise it is the noise which is caused by human made electrical sources like the vibration or rotation of motors generator ignition all these this industrial noise is also called as man made noise second is called as atmospheric noise atmospheric means in the atmosphere it is due to natural occurring disturbances in earth's atmosphere such as lightning the frequency is less than 30 megahertz the different types of calamities or natural disasters we can call which will cause atmospheric noise just like a lightning is there thunder storm thunder storm thunder storm is there wind storm is there there may be earthquake there may be a volcano all these are natural disasters and which will uh, produces or degrade the performance of our system and they are externally external or outside the system or they are atmospheric noise and the third one is called as extraterrestrial noise it is electrical noise due to solar and cosmic activity everyone related with a specific frequency which is measured in hertz for extraterrestrial noise it is from 10 megahertz to 1500 megahertz so these three are the major contributor of noise which is called as external noise atmospheric atmospheric noise also known as static noise it is also known as static noise it is caused by naturally occurring disturbances in the earth's atmosphere 
just I mentioned sources are lightning discharge, thunderstorms and other natural electrical, electric disturbances. Nature and form of this points, it comes in the form of amplitude modulated impulses, such impulses processes are random and spread over the whole of the radio frequency spectrum used for broadcasting. It consists of sparse radio signals with many frequency components. It is propagated in the same way as ordinary radio waves of the same frequency. Any radio station will therefore receive static from thunderstorms both local and distant. It affects radio more than it affects television. The region, region field strength is inversely proportional to the frequency. At 30 megahertz and above atmospheric noise is less severe for two reasons. One, higher frequencies are limited to line of sight propagation and second is very little of this noise is generated in the VHF. VHF means very high frequency range and above. Next type is called as industrial noise. The noise made by man easily outstrips any other between the frequencies of 1 to 600 megahertz. This includes things such as car and aircraft ignition, electric motors, switching equipment, leakage from high voltage lines, these are related with the industrial noise. Next is the extraterrestrial, the word type is solar noise. This is the noise that originates from the sun. We know the sun radiates a broad spectrum of frequencies including those which are used for broadcasting. The sun is an active star and is constantly changing. It undergoes cycles of peak activity from which electrical disturbances erupt. The cycle is about 11 years long. Next type is cosmic noise. Distinct stars also radiate noise in much the same way as the sun. The noise received from them is called black body noise. Noise also comes from distinct galaxies in much the same way as they come from the Milky Way. This noise is observable at the frequencies 8 megahertz to 1.43 gigahertz. Apart from man-made noise, it is strongest component over the range of 20 to 120 megahertz. So, in short, external noises are atmospheric, industrial noise and extraterrestrial noise and cosmic noise. These are the different types of noises that will degrade the performance of the system. In next lecture, we are going to discuss with the internal noise.